Hey everybody, Wayne's Workshop here. In this week's video, I'm gonna go over how to unfold a raw 3D model uh, using Pepakura. This is kind of a follow-up video from last week's video where I showed you how to extract raw uh, 3D models, game models out of Heroes of the Storm. I showed you some basic stuff on how to separate like uh, the gun from the rest of the model. I am not going to use the model from last week. I'm actually going to use the model that I'm working on right now. I'm building Space Lord Lyric and that is, um, I'm going to unfold his boot this week. So follow me along and learn some basic steps about Pepakura. So you got your model extracted out of the game and for me that is the Space Lord Lyric full model and that looks like this right here, Make a full screen like this. Now I showed you last week how we could separate certain parts off the main model like we did in last week's video. We split the gun from the rest of uh, Anna's model. And for this tutorial, I already separated his boot from the rest of his body. And that is right here. As you can see, I split that up. What I want to show you first is what the end result will be. So you have a frame of reference. Here is the boot that I already unfolded into workable templates. I'll we'll turn the texture off right here. Here you see the rough outline of his boot and I already made it into workable templates that you can print out on your normal printer and then cut them out and then trace them on foam, cut those out and glue them back together into an actual model of, in this case, a Space Lord layering boot. So this is what we're gonna, this is the end goal, what we're gonna do. Let's close this off and we'll go back to the raw model. So let's say this is your model. You open it up in Pepakura and you're greeted by this first uh, screen and asks you if you want to flip the faces. We don't want to flip faces otherwise it will be inverted so no flip. Now it wants to know the coordination of your model. It wants to know what is the front, what's the back so you know here in this screen you can flip it. Let's say I want the sole of the boot to be the front. Uh, the program is asking me adjust front by specifying front color. So let's say I want the bottom of the sole to be the front, I would say yellow and then finish. This is not the case. It's already aligned to the front, so we'll go next, no change. Adjust bottom, same thing. It's already on the bottom. If you want to change that, you can choose any of these colors to tell the program your alignment. But in this case, it's fine. So we press finish and now we can orientate it freely. Make a full screen. And then we hit unfold. The program uh, does a basic unfold for you. It tries to keep it as logical as possible, but this is not really workable for us. It will always unfold this to a single sheet of paper. Uh, size issues will uh, handle that later. Right now you can see if I highlight this part right here, this is the entire boot. Now this part isn't really all that great to uh, trace out and use as a template. It even still has the glue tabs on here uh, that we that normally is used for paper crafting. So let's turn those off first. To turn off those glue tabs, we go to 2D menu, and you can see here show flaps has been checked on. We're gonna check that off, and then you see here all these glue tabs are gone. So I'm gonna move the rest of these templates just off screen for now and we're gonna focus on just the main boot right here. The main tool in Pepakura that you're gonna use is if you right click anywhere in this screen you see a whole bunch of options but for unfolding a model into a proper template you're gonna use the join disjoint face. So you highlight that one and then when you go all over these fold lines you see a green line and like in the outline you see a red line and you can see where it kind of wants to connect so if this was our actual template and we had traced it out over uh, foam this part would be glued to that part it shows you where it wants to connect by all hovering over the lines if you want to separate a piece you hover over that line and you just click it once now it's separated 
and double click it and it's back. This is the main method of separating and reattaching certain pieces. You're basically sorting everything around in a more logical sense so you can use it as a proper template. So let's just remove stuff first that we don't need. Right click, go to select and move. What we don't need is probably this bottom sole because our shoe is gonna be there. We need to walk and walking on foam. I don't prefer it. And this top part right here uh, is where our leg goes in. So that needs to go as well. Right now we can tell that this part right here is this part right there. So we're just gonna remove it. So we go back to the join disjoint face. We're gonna detach that part, detach that part, and detach that part. Go back to select and move, and you click it, and you can see we have now separated the bottom of the sole from the rest of the boot. We won't be using this, so just click and hold and drag it off. Now, let's go from this piece we just disconnected. We can tell that just by clicking on this that it's this part. If we want to align it to have the same orientation as this, as this, you can see that green dot here. Just click and hold and you can turn it. Now it makes more sense. Now the rest, if I click it here, you see it's the rest. So what I'd like to do is have both sides of the boot, the back of the boot and the front of the boot separated in templates, which will just make more sense and it in the end it will look cleaner on your foam also because uh, then you won't have a lot of seam lines instead of now seam lines will be all over the whole boot and we don't want that so go back to join disjoint face and let's go from the bottom up here we can see that there is this part missing and you can see where it wants to align so we're gonna disconnect this from the main from the rest of the template and go back here and connect it to there. Double click, and now it's on there. Now we've made, we've separated this piece from there and we attached it to here. Also gonna do that for these three right there. So, join this joint face. Let's see where they are. That is those three right there. So we disconnected here and disconnected there and connected there. And there we go, we already have a decent piece of the puzzle right here. There's still these three, and we can see which one they are by, ah, it's that one right there. So we disconnect it, we move it over there. There's still this one piece, and that's that one. Disconnect that one and connect it to there. Normally you'd think now, like, hey, let's connect this to there, but this goes in a curve and this program thinks in paper only and paper is flat. If I would connect this right now, you could see that these two lines right here are overlapping. It wouldn't make sense because if we would disconnect it again and hover it over each other, you can see it goes, there's no way I connect this without overlapping. And this is when you cut it out into foam and curve it and then the lines will make sense because it's in a curve and then it will attach there will be no overlapping but as for connecting it already in here i wouldn't recommend it so now we have the side of the boot separated into two easy workable templates and we can move on to the back right now the back still is mainly the rest of the boot so let's disconnect a working piece i'll turn this around and I think it's right there. Right now I've disconnected some pieces and you can see a piece of this, this side is still connected to there. So join, join this joint face, disconnect it from there. We'll just move this side right here. And then we got this bottom piece. We can connect it. To here but then you can see we need a there's a curve here because the boot here is bent 
Personally, I would leave it like this as two separate pieces because if you would attach one piece, it would have a nice bend and the other would have a seam line. So there's this whole asymmetrical thing. I just like to have a line um, on both, both sides then. So now we have the back. Same goes for the other side of the boot. See it right there. And let's join this joint face. Oh, that's too much. And that's that part right there. Connect that. Remove that. Put that in. Put that one in. Disconnect that. And that. See, here's where the overlap also can occur. So same thing as last time. Connect that and we have two separate pieces again. Now the one on the front, that's already done now because we've done the rest. We're gonna remove this top part right here because our, uh, our leg needs to go in, move that to the side. And it's already done. That went fast. There we go. <clears throat> that went fast. Of course, this is just a, a, a really basic boot right here. There are way more complex models, but this uh, basic stuff gives you a general understanding of how to go about uh, unfolding 3D models. Uh, if I would load a texture onto this model, you can see that it has way more detail originally in the model because, but Heroes of the Storm just covers that in its texture because you're you're watching the models from a big distance, so it's all the, all the details is in the texture. Uh, I'll cover this in a later video on how to detail um, basic raw foam creations, but for now we do have a working template uh, for this basic boot which you can layer on top of, and. The nice thing about this is if you would made, make a mistake here, by the click of the mouse button, you've rectified the problem and then you can redo it instead of uh, drawing out your templates on paper and making a mistake and you have to throw away the paper and do it all over again. I just like to do everything digitally and this program helps me so much. Uh, you can do this, of course, with every model you extract or might find even on the internet. There are even some ways you could go onto Thingiverse, uh, download an STL, that's a 3D printer file. There are even programs that convert STLs back into OBJ files, which we just loaded in. And that OBJ file, you can load again in Pepakura and unfold that and create your cosplays or props from there. So there is a whole boatload of free models uh, available on the internet that could work with Pepakura. And as you saw in my previous video, you could also extract them yourself from certain games. This was a uh, kind of a short tutorial and I can go into uh, unfolding this top bit right here, but I've shown you the basics on how to uh, make some workable templates uh, just from the boot. The same method are applied in this part and in that part and in that part and in that part and so on and so on. Uh, I'm not going to make a follow-up video on how to build it with Papakura because I already made that video. It's a bit of an older video. I'll put it like right there and I have a scaling video right there and that covers how to actually scale this template up to your body measurements and there's a whole caliper and a body measurement system in there so be sure to check that out and that was already it for this video so in the next video i will have made this boot already for my own cosplay and i'll show you how to uh how to layer stuff on top of it maybe add, uh, add some leds i'm also working on his mallet that he was holding you saw that in the uh, model that i first loaded he has this huge two meter long mallet i'm also building that maybe some electronics so who knows what we'll do i'm pretty excited for this cosplay i'm really back into it so uh build along with me if you have any questions about Pepakura, be sure to drop them in the comments. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two again. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss a single thing. And I'll see you next week for a new tutorial. Thanks.